I just want to address real quick the um, the theorizing and the belief that some people have that on December 21st, 2012, because of the, what the Mayan calendar says, that that's going to be the end of the world. That's not what the Mayan calendar says. That's the end of the Mayan calendar. That would be the equivalent of you taking a calendar you have on your wall right now, the 20, 2012 calendar, January, February, March, April, May, all the way to December, and when it hits December 31st, you being convinced that because that's when that calendar ends, that that means the world's going to end. That's not the way it works. That calendar has been misinterpreted misinterpre by many people, and, and the world's not going to end. And I know that there are some, hold on. There are some of my subscribers that are like, duh, okay, so why, we know this, why are you making it? Well, because, because, I don't know if many of you remember the Y2K end of the world scare thing. There were people saying that when the, when it changed from 1999 to the year 2000 because of something, the clocks or whatever, everything was going to crash and, and, it was going to be, you know, chaos was going to ensue and the end of the world was going to follow. Obviously, uh, many of us know, obviously, that that didn't happen. Well, I had a friend who we will call uh, Matt. Matt had issues, uh, some issues maintaining his, his touch with reality. Um, I didn't realize at the time how profound those issues were now I see it looking back but I had lost touch with him and found out that he was convinced so convinced by the Y2K scare thing that on midnight December 31st switching from 1999 to 2000 he hung himself because he did not want to see his friends and family suffer in the end of the world. Um, looking back, I wish I had been kinder to him, which is why, you know, when I talk about um, engaging or talking about these things with people who believe them to be kind, some people, well, you, ridicule is good, it's good to ridicule. No, well, you're basically just defending bullying right it's really just bullying and you never know if that person takes that stuff too seriously and decides to to end their life because of it you're going to probably look back on those those words you said to them which are the only words that you know you will ever have a chance to say to them and and wish you had done things kinder um we who lead with or try to lead with our rational foot forward need to remember that we live in a world that um, still even to this day nurtures a lot of this this magical thinking and it does get tiring it it does get overpowering sometimes because there's so much of it and and I know I know it it becomes overwhelming and you get frustrated and then you communicate through that frustration but that's not always the best and you know where a lot of people say these things for the purpose of gaming other people there are some people who believe it and sometimes those people are really really scared they're really really scared so try and be kind but when you hear them talking about this, do do try to gently and uh, but assertively debunk it because it might be important. You never know if the person you're talking to in that moment is the person who will take that too seriously. And that's my two cents on it. And um, thanks for listening. Good night.